Neo Grunfeld defense, classical, modern defense. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. Nf3 supports the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. In order to dominate the center from the long diagonal, g3 is getting ready to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. That was a free pawn. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is the final book action. This overlooks an opportunity to reveal an attack on a knight. This allows the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This wins a knight's tempo while also developing a piece. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is best. This gives the adversary the chance to win a tempo by posing a queen threat. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain tempo. That falls flat. Thus, a knight is lost. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to win a knight. That falls flat. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is ideal. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This is the way to win a bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This poses a knight winning threat. It is incorrect. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This allows the opponent to take an outpost with a bishop. It is a mistake. This takes an outpost, an active square where the bishop cannot be kicked out by a pawn. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is best. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This creates a counter threat against an opposite e queen, as opposed to retreating from an attack. 
This threatens to win material. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is ideal. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. Recaptures. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. This passes up a chance to transfer a knight to safety. It is incorrect. Backs off. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is the only move that works. It is best. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. This is the only move that works. This threatens to fork pieces. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. This activates a rook by getting it to the seventh rank and also restricts the opponent's king. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to fork parts. It is quite good. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is quite good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This makes it impossible for the adversary to make a passed pawn. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Thus, the assaulted rook is protected. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. An opponent's passed pawn can't advance if a rook is positioned behind it. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Right on target. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.